Generics and interfaces work well together. You can define an interface and make a property of it generic. In this video, we will make use of it to type the response of an HTTP request by defining the data as generic and then applying the type once we make the request. Our next example is a bit more advanced. We will fetch some data from this uh, URL here and then we want to pass the data that we get as JSON using the response JSON functionality. Unfortunately, what comes back is any because response JSON passes the body but doesn't know what that body really contains. So we will get back an any for the data. Then uh, we can only assume what the data has inside. So we assume that there is a title but because it can be anything, we don't have type safety, so this would also be allowed. And this is what I want to change now with the next lines of code. I will create a util method called getJSON. So let's write out the function signature. And the idea of that getJSON function will be that we make the fetch inside, we get some JSON data and return a typed response. In order to do that, we need that URL here as a string and then based on the URL, we will do the fetch. So let's move the existing code here from the IIFE into the getJSON function. We have to prefix our function with the async keyword in order to use the await inside. And we also should define our return type. And for the return, I want to create an interface. I will make the interface generic by using the angle brackets. And within the angle brackets, we will then use our type variable called t and I will make use of it inside then of the interface to define the data that the response brings us. But let's first define a number type here for the status, the HTTP status, and then we'll make a property here for the data that is of type T. Our next challenge is to connect the type of T to the response status and the data title. So how do we do that? Let's add another type variable to the getJSON function. This will allow us to use a new generic that we can add to our data. So we will annotate the data to be of type T. Then in this case, we uh, just need to respond here with um, the data, yeah, the data. And we need to also give it a status and the status is from our response, the, the uh, status. So then we have that. By the way, this data here, this is a shortcut. Yeah, you can also write data to data. That would be the same, but since these two names are the same, we can just shorten it to data. The return value now makes it possible that we can also explicitly define the return type. The type will be of our HTTP response with a generic T. So we will return a promise with an HTTP response inside. The getJSON function is now complete, which means that in our IIFE we can make use of it. So we will assign a response to the return value of getJSON. To show good craftsmanship, we will also make the URL variable. So we take out here the fixed string and we will give it into getJSON to be passed in as a URL parameter. Surprisingly, the promise that is returned from getJSON will include an HTTP response of type unknown because TypeScript cannot infer the type here for our HTTP response. That's why we need to declare the type. So we define now that getJSON should be used with a string type variable. There are still some errors that have to be fixed. First, we need to put an await into our code because we are doing something asynchronous. And then we need to double check here our variable for type T. Remember, we want to get back the data and the data is generic and the data should include the title. So what we define here is the generic for the data, which is an object with a title of type string. That looks almost okay now. We also need to make use of the data here in the response. Yeah, response.data.title is the correct code. We are done now, so let's recap what we did. The data is specified to be an object with a title because we are making use here of the generic in our interface that lets us define any structure that we like for our data on a HTTP response. 
As you have seen, using generics in an interface is very easy. Just put the type variable next to your interface name and make use of it throughout your code.